can't get that this man's salty, but like, that's Jennifer Lopez. That's Liz Taylor's shit. If she wants to have 16 different husbands, she can do that. Did she just compare Jennifer Lopez to Elizabeth Taylor? Am I hearing that right? Hmm. Second of all, uh, I wouldn't call him salty. Okay, just because he's stating something that is factually true. That she, his ex-wife, Jennifer Lopez, also known as J-Lo, uh, will be married seven or eight times. And she's already on her fifth with Ben Affleck. Okay, so he's just calling out a fact. And the fact that this woman here says, oh, there's nothing wrong with it. If he wants to be married 16, or if she wants to be married 16 times, nothing wrong with that. Uh, what does that say about you if you get married 16 times and you still can't keep yourself from getting divorced, right? And what does that say about her who is, you know, basically admonishing this bad behavior? So uh, this is what I love about the red pill, guys. It really wakes you up to the ridiculousness that comes out of these women's mouths that you were probably oblivious to back in the day. You didn't notice or you didn't want to notice or you were scared to notice, right? And you didn't want to call them out. And thanks to the red pill, more and more guys are finding their voice. Amen to that. Amen. That uh, we are calling out this despicable behavior, this depravity from modern women. Um, and they don't like it, right? They want you to stay ignorant, uneducated, and uninformed. Why? So they can continue to push this just very degenerate behavior um, onto other women, onto society, uh, without anybody speaking up, without anybody calling them out and holding them responsible for, you know, all of this... Uh, inflammatory rhetoric that comes out of their mouths all right next clip here we go i would love to have a relationship that was deeply meaningful and one to which i could be deeply committed <sighs> it's the blast from the past no one saw coming making headlines again as so many are asking is benifer back Jennifer? the reunion allegedly started with ben sending j-lo love letters the oh, prospect God, dude. of an older wiser benifer certainly has social media buzzing i've made plenty of mistakes some big some small you learn all right I, I really don't like this um you know how they the tabloids combine the the husband's name with the wife's name it's just very cringy to use a gen z word <laughs> very cringy um mostly because it's meant to um, emasculate the man, right? It's meant to make him more effeminate and less masculine. That's what I see when I see these tabloids and, uh, you know, the celebrity gossip magazines trying to create a name out of both of them instead of just letting them be two separate entities, right? I, I would, I, yeah, that makes my stomach turn. I wouldn't want anybody combining, like, my name with my chick's name. I, no. No. Right, that is some blue pill, matrix style brainwashing right there. But here he is, he's totally falling for it. When they go wrong. By taking responsibility, hmm. Ben brought his family closer than ever. I'm carrying responsibility that's not just to myself, but that's to my children. Someone's gonna ask them, hey, what kind of guy were you? Jennifer Garner posting this tribute to her co-parent and ex, Ben Affleck, writing, Our kids are lucky to have a dad who looks at them the way you look at them, who loves them the way you love them. I used to think from the point of view of a, a child, you know, a typical childhood. And now I think about it from the point of view of a father. How do we really live our lives the best way? How do we recover from adversity? This doesn't have to be who you are. It doesn't have to last. It's about how do we aspire to be better. Okay, um, yeah, that's uh, that's great and all, Ben. But what I would like to see Ben actually do is live what he is preaching. That's a problem. That's that's a problem I have with. It's probably a pet peeve of mine that I have with most uh, 
most people, especially guys, right? Because we're supposed to be the leaders. Then they don't live what they preach. And I mentioned this uh, during my interview with It's Complicated. Um, go subscribe to his channel, by the way. I, I said, he said, what is the biggest uh, problems that I see with the red pill community? And I said, uh, besides the infighting, just the number of creators that don't actually live what they preach, right? There's an incongruence there. And that's something that uh, you'll never see with me. I live what I preach. What I teach you, I do myself. I don't just tell you to do these things and then I'm not living it myself, right? I don't try to teach you, you know, like some of these red pill dude gurus teach you how to uh, date a girl or pick a cold approach a girl when I myself have been in the same marriage with the same woman for the last, you know, 40 years. You know, I haven't done a cold approach since the mid 80s, you know, or these other red pill gurus, you know, with that uh, <laughs> that uh, are single dads talking about how to pick up women. No, leave that to me. I'm the PUA here. Let me teach that because you don't go out, mister. You are a single dad or you are stuck at home with your wife. So, yeah, that is my big issue with people don't live what they preach. Uh, like Ben here saying, you know, this doesn't have to be who you are and be better and be a better human being and be happy. Well, he's the ex exact opposite of that. Um, he, <laughs> he continues to make a lot of dumb mistakes, you know, like marrying... A woman who's been divorced four times and is about to be five with him. All right, next clip. Here we go. The signs were all there. Look at this face. This man is an Academy Award winning writer. His film won Best Picture. He knows what a hit is. And more importantly, he knows what a hit is not. He did just about everything aside from telling her, please don't do this to us. He took one look at the script and he was like, babe, I think our private life should stay private. I don't think people need to hear this story. Hoping she would just read between the lines and be like, this is not a story worth telling. But as we have all come to find out, J-Lo is in her own world. Watch these clips and see the signs. I don't think he's very comfortable with me doing all of this. But he loves me. He knows I'm an artist and he's going to support me in every way he can because he knows this is this. He can't stop me from making the music I made and writing the words that I wrote. He can't, you know, that's going to happen. And he doesn't want to stop me. He wants to do that. But that doesn't mean he's, you know, kind of comfortable being the muse of being... Jen was really inspired by this experience. It, it's hard to watch her. I, I've never been a fan of Jennifer Lopez. I, you know, I don't even like calling her J-Lo. It's just... <laughs> But I've never been a fan of hers. I don't. I never got the fascination with her. Um, I remember one girl I dated, just like super beautiful, naturally pretty face, just really attractive. She was young. She was young though, so I don't fault her too much. Well, she wasn't that young. She was like 25. And this was back in the day. And she said Jennifer Lopez. She she looked up to Jennifer Lopez, and she said she wishes. She said this this woman who was like super naturally beautiful that I dated. She said I wish I looked like Jennifer Lopez. And I'm like, uh, why? You look a thousand times better than she could ever look on her you know her best day. You don't need all her makeup. You don't need her fake hair. You don't need her you know plastic surgery. You don't need her butt implants. You are just you know, you're light years ahead of her as far as looks. So I never, I never understood that. I, I just was like, what? It just been, makes no sense to me. And I still don't understand why exactly she's famous. Jen was really inspired by this experience, which is how artists do their work. You get inspired, their personal life moves you. I know as a writer, a director, like I certainly do the same things. But think Look at him, how, how he has to back her up. Does she back him up? No, but... He has to back her up so he doesn't look like a total fool because she just spouts a lot of nonsense. A lot of things she says are just uh, really ridiculous. That are private, I always felt, are sacred and special. I, what is she doing? Because, in part, they're private. It's almost like so, an SNL skit. This kind of reminds me almost of, of an old S SNL skit from the 80s. This was something of an adjustment for me. Oh, I still got her beauty, her booty, and her bank account, so bye, boy, to him. Bobby, this isn't about me and you. But we take that out. That is not part of the script. Why is she calling him Poppy when she doesn't actually speak Spanish? Uh, 
I mean, yeah, you can't make this up. Look at the look on this dude's face. I'm going to do more videos um, just highlighting, you know, just his expressions ever since he got back with her. But, guys, this is what the blue pill does to you, man. This is how the blue pill controls you. It just, the whole aim of the blue pill is to keep you in this constant state of suppressing your masculinity, feeling shame, embarrassment, humiliation, poking holes in your masculinity, right? You notice all these guys who are in these blue pill relationships, uh, living out the, their blue pill fantasies. Their women know that, right? Their women know their blue pill. They know they can take advantage of them, right? This is why they did they do, right? And often these are the same guys that are, uh, you know, overwhelmingly being cheated on, being divorced, being dumped, I, I, you don't really see red pill men getting dropped, right? It's usually the red pill man that leaves that relationship. Even if he knows it's about to end, he'll bounce before the girl even has a chance to get that satisfaction from it. That's a great thing about being red pill. But, uh, you know, you can't blame... I mean, you can. Ben can only blame himself at this point because this information's out there. It's not like he can't find it. He chooses to stay in the matrix. He, stu he chooses to stay plugged in and blind, right? And just lost as always gentlemen drop your comments below i'll see you in the next one all right this is m from the 33 secrets signing out here with the lamborghini yes it's my lambo go to matt cross official my ig see the entire process of me purchasing this vehicle it took about two months to close and the same guy who delivered my delorean also delivered my lamborghini tj at florida exotic transport if you ever need to transport a muscle car, exotic car, he's your man. So, very excited about this vehicle. It's uh, actually a pretty rare find. It's Rossifesto Red, which is one of the rarest colors for Lamborghini. It's a $14,880 option, believe it or not. I was on a hunt for one for over two years, just like I was my DeLorean. Finally found one. It's got super low miles, 11K, not bad. And we're going to be featuring this car a lot more here on the channel for many years to come. This is gorgeous, isn't it? Whew. Oh my gosh, take a look at this. It hasn't dried yet, but I'm still putting this on there. It's my IG tag. But as always, gentlemen, make sure you smash that like button. Smash that like button below. Do it for the Lamborghini and the DeLorean. I still have it, by the way. I'm not selling the DeLorean. I'll probably keep this car for a little bit. But uh, DeLorean is going to stay. So uh, we'll get the DeLorean back on here pretty soon. But uh, enjoy the Lamborghini. And again, smash the like button. Smash that subscribe button as well. Helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, platinum pill content that I'm teaching you even further, best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there into the world and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students all around the world now are out there approaching and closing every single week. And I kid you not, we are making it happen every single week. And I want you to become one of us. I want you to join us. And right now it's only a buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me in mastery so take advantage of it it's the best way to support my work if you love what i'm doing here if you love what i'm teaching you here and you feel like i've added value to your life this is the best way to pay me back get into my monthly online coaching program seven months of mastery all you need to do is click that link below in my description box it will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now it just takes two seconds so do that now and i'll see you in my next coaching video i'm out with the lambo Till next time. Woo, so sweet.